We're going to see which one wants to take over. It's the biggest November chase day ever for Oklahoma, and the Titans are in position. But the Lord Tornado! This is a good setup right here. It's uh, it really is. Uh, a lot of stuff's taking shape. Um, I would venture to say that this setup is uh, probably one of the better fall setups I've ever seen. I mean, it's just absolutely loaded and ready. A couple models are wanting to make this day kind of a little iffier than we thought, but a couple are making it really good. So, what we're doing right now, we're just waiting. Uh, it's gonna be a matter of moments before we leave, and I guess we're gonna get down there. We're gonna set in the target area, and hopefully, we're gonna have tornadoes today. Today's chase day is especially important for the team. This is the last chase day before winter sets in, so scoring big and getting a tornado would mean an easier off-season. Meanwhile, just ahead of the Titans are some new faces, Brennan Sullivan and Brett Wright. It started out where I almost did not make it down there. It was a very welcome chase. You know, you come off of the spring storm season and you're really just in this lull all through winter. You're going through school. You're just so down about things. So having a big fall chase like that was just a very welcome sight. November 7th, 2011, we're just leaving Wichita Falls, Texas, headed up towards Vernon, Texas. Pretty, uh, pretty decent uh, severe weather setup for this time of year. Good clearing taking place here in Altus, Oklahoma right now. We got a kind of clouds are broken. We got some storms already forming. We're getting ready as we speak to start thinking about heading uh, to our west. got on the first supercells of the day and uh, you know they look pretty good. We walked a couple that kind of went up and died. We eventually moved into Oklahoma on some storms but they just couldn't get the job done. We piddled around with them and almost got stuck in the mud, had to work our way out and eventually decided that we were just going to move east for this monster supercell. We just saw a beautiful cyclic supercell. I mean that had tornado reports of a big barrel tornado and I mean we were very angry. Meanwhile, to the north, Chris and Josh have a decision of their own. They're in between three storms, which all look promising, but they can only choose one. That one's gonna do it too, but I think this one's gonna be the bigger one. That'll be sustained out here. Yeah. We've got a wall cloud developing back here to our, uh, behind us. Uh, we're basically watching this lowering. Uh, we're gonna get back in position shortly. In the greatest position, we'll see what happens. The Titans choose the middle cell, but things aren't turning out as planned. While there is a strongly pronounced clear slot from the rear flank downdraft, the wall cloud isn't rotating very strongly. This is a sign that the storm will weaken before it can produce a tornado. The Titans need a new plan. There is a very narrow corridor where tornadoes can occur today. Part of storm chasing is learning when to leave storms. As a new storm approaches the Red River, both teams have to flee east in order to get into position. Who will make it in time to score big? 